Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna chat about some more cozy games on Nintendo Switch, cozy or chill games that are either releasing very very soon or have just released, sort of just. <laughs> I have a couple of games to chat about, but before we do, I want to chat about this hat set that I got gifted by Summic. Uh, thank you so much to them for gifting me this super cute super high quality headset i will leave all of their links in my description box down below if you want to check it out for yourself any of my fellow gamer girls gays days out there that want to try this would highly recommend i unboxed this already i'll insert some clips of me unboxing this i got the pink one and I love it so much. The box itself is also very pink and very cute. It is cat themed, so obviously we have the cat ears that also light up, but there's also little cats on the insides too. And there's little cat magnetic covers that you can um, replace the magnetic covers here. Quick intermission in the unboxing. I didn't realize, but you can actually take these off. They're magnetic and put the cat ones directly on here. And that's how it's supposed to work. I tried to put the cat ones on top of here. It worked, but it's not how it's officially supposed to. Just an FYI. And it comes with a cable to charge it. It also comes with a cable if you do want to connect it to your PC without using Bluetooth. So if you want to have a wired connection, I am so happy this is a Bluetooth one because I do already have another kitty headset that is only wired. And it's really annoying when you just need to quickly get up to open or close the doors for your cats for example or you want to grab a snack or whatever it's so nice to have a bluetooth like wireless one you can also change the colors on this one i think it's this side so you just push and hold and then you'll change the color so there's lots of colors to choose from blue green white orange pink purple so many but yeah there's tons of customizations there's also a little microphone you can just like get out it's also bendable so you can put it in your mouth if you want to chat with people hop on discord in a voice call and play a game together you know microphone for that and i love the sound quality there's also like different modes that you can select uh you can adjust the volume everything it also comes with its own little usb stick which was perfect for me because my pc doesn't have like built-in bluetooth or something so you just have this bluetooth stick that you can just stick in your pc and the um, headset will automatically connect so they really give you everything you need to use it right away it's great quality and it looks really cute so i'm very happy with it so want to thank Sonic again for kindly gifting this to me and if you want to check it out for yourself there will be links in my description box down below also what do you guys think of my wallpaper isn't it adorable snow next is like totoro you know from my neighbor totoro and since that's also my intro music i thought it was perfect anyway <laughs> Thank y'all for listening to my rambling. Now let's get into the actual video and chat about the first let's chat about the games that are going to be releasing soon. They're all in September. So next month, they'll be releasing on the Nintendo Switch and I'm very excited for them. Oh, before we get into it, look, I'm wearing my Wholesome Games t-shirt just for this video. Isn't it perfect? <laughs> okay, let's get into the video now. <laughs> The first upcoming game on my list that I'm very excited about is Ooblets. Ooblets will release on the 1st of September and in this game you live a simple life, do some farming. However, on this farm you can also grow these little creatures. I'm pretty sure you like grow them on the farm and you can collect these Ooblets and use them for dance battles as well. Uh, there's also tons of customization available ranging from designing your character to decorating your house. Oblitz releases on the Nintendo Switch on the 1st of September this year. It's already been released on a couple of other platforms, but it will be coming to the Nintendo Switch and I have it pre-ordered. I'm so excited. Next up, we have Disney Dreamlight Valley. Disney Dreamlight Valley is a hybrid between a life sim and an adventure game, rich with quests, exploration, and activities featuring Disney and Pixar characters. It is up to the player to discover the stories of this world and bring the magic back to Dreamlight Valley. It looks adorable and this releases September 6th this year in early access if you purchase the game, so you purchase this Founders Pack. 
otherwise it will release as free to play in 2023 so there's two options and i am considering purchasing the founders pack i think it looks really really interesting and i kind of want to try it out and make a video about it so if you guys are interested in that let me know i will need a very little motivation to purchase it so you know next up is a game i'm so so happy is coming to the nintendo switch because i've had my eye on this one on steam for a long time but this is a game that i just really want to play very relaxed handheld so that's why i never jumped the gun or whatever and bought this on PC and it's called Hoko Life. You might have heard of it. This is a very charming game and gives off some very strong Animal Crossing vibes. <laughs> you get to build and expand the town and fill it with your favorite animal villagers. There is tons of room for creating, decorating, and just being creative in general but with farming as well and all of these villagers look so adorable and definitely like the animal villagers are what reminds me of Animal Crossing so much and Hokolai will release on Nintendo Switch on September 27th I'm so excited so that is it for all of the games that will be releasing all of them will be releasing in September uh, this year and now we're gonna go to some games that have fairly recently been released on Nintendo Switch that are they're pretty new I would say Another one that I had on my Steam wishlist for a long time and I had no clue it was coming to the Nintendo Switch and it's called Strange Horticulture? Horticulture? I'm not sure how to pronounce that word. <laughs> Uh, this is an occult puzzle game where you play as the proprietor of a local plant store. Find and identify new plants, pet your cat, speak to a coven, or join a cult. So I am very excited for this. It's very witchy, atmospheric, it looks so pretty. It's very mysterious. I think there's also like a mystery that you need to unravel. It looks amazing. Next up, we have this very cute multiplayer game. It's just released. It's Kirby's Dream Buffet. <laughs> uh, this game seems like it will be best to play with friends or family, and you race against each other as a very round and cute looking Kirby in awesome looking desert themed racetracks. And there's also mini games that you get to play in between the races. If I can find people to play this with, I will get it. Otherwise, it will be another one of those overcooked moments for me where. The game is just more fun to play with other people and I just don't have anyone to play with, unfortunately. <laughs> Next up we have Lumbear Jack. Get it? Here you play as an environmentally conscious bear. You got out to explore and take down the evil and polluting corporation by destroying and recycling their trash and restoring your forest to its beautiful natural state. This one is rather cheap, it looks very cute and I like the idea of restoring balance to nature and taking down these big evil corpses, you know? Lastly on my list is Time on Frog Island. I've talked about this game before and I think this is one of the ones that I'm also like most excited for on this list. In this game you end up sh shipwrecked on an island filled with frogs. Whilst you set out to fix your boat, you meet the residents of the island, you solve puzzles, you find treasure, you do some fishing and farming and lots of trading with the froggies. It looks so cute and it's it's emphasizing a lot that it's like a sandbox game too so i'm guessing you get a lot of freedom to do what you want to do so yeah that's it for my list today guys let me know if you have played any of these games would you recommend them or are there any games on your radar that i have not talked about here i would love to know once again if you want to you can check out asomic get this headset for yourself i love it so so much and uh, all of their links will be in my description box thank you so much for watching all of my links will be in my description box as well all of my social media as well as the link to our discord server which you are so free to join uh, we talk about games live in general and yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you want to. And I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.